Hello everyone. Homemade sweets are something that we all enjoy and today sweet is a perfectly wholesome and delicious carrot firni. Now this is made with very simple ingredients so let's get started and check out the recipe. For the carrot firni first I'm going to soak quarter cup of basmati rice. Pour enough water and soak it for about 30 minutes. Strain the soaked basmati rice. Remove all the excess water. Spread it onto a plate. Just dry it a little bit before grinding it. The basmati rice is dried up. Transfer it to a mixer jar and grind it to a nice coarse mixture. So for the carrot filling, I've taken about 200 grams of fresh carrots, wash them clean, peel off the skin. I'm going to actually boil the carrots. Roughly chop the carrots into large pieces. So take a pot, pour enough water. So the carrots are cooked, turn off the stove, remove the carrots. Cool them completely. The carrot is cooked perfectly. I'm just going to take two pieces and keep it aside. I will be using it later. And the remaining pieces, I'm going to grind it to a nice coarse mixture. Transfer the carrots to the mixer jar. I'm just going to add a little water. There you go, remove it from the mixer jar and keep it aside. To a nice wide saucepan, add 1 litre of milk. Once the milk comes to a boil, add the ground rice. The milk has reduced nicely, the rice is almost cooked, so this is a good time to add the carrot puree. Mix it. It's got a lovely beautiful colour to it. So I had saved two pieces of carrots, I'm just going to grate it into the firni. This is to give a nice little texture. So this is optional, so if you don't want to grate it in, you can just puree all the boiled carrots. Oh, that looks absolutely fantastic. You can see the grated carrot, it's giving a lot of colour and texture to the firni. So it's become nice and thick. Make sure you add the sugar only after the rice is completely cooked. If you add the sugar before the rice is cooked, it will stop the cooking process the rice can be a little hard so make sure it's completely cooked. Next I'm going to add 3 4 cup of sugar. You can adjust the sugar according to your taste. Now I'm going to add powdered cardamom, half teaspoon. Add a pinch of saffron. Finally, I'm going to add the roasted cashew nuts and the roasted raisins. Turn off the stove. The carrot firni is done. You can either serve it nice and warm or you can chill it completely and serve it nice and cool. So here is a simple yet delicious carrot firni that you can enjoy anytime you're craving for something sweet. So you can either serve it nice and warm or chilled. So do try this recipe and enjoy.